Hello all, Happy New Year! I'm finally back with December 2016 Hip Kids, even though it's 2017 January. That's because of my Hip Kids was in Finnish custom, so I'm playing for that. Anyway, I'm happy to share with you what I have in the kits. I'm not doing any traditional unboxing, I'm just showing all the products. First, we have the most awesome color kit with co concrete mist from Simmers and mint mist from Haiti Swap, as well as the Echo Park dot stencil, which matches perfectly for these exclusive papers from Hip, Hip Kit Club as well as the pink paisley papers. These are designed by Paige Taylor Evans and I'm really loving them all and I'm guessing all of you are too. So all the papers are going well together. These some are from Great Paper too. Uh, I really love the line of the papers because you have some pink there but also some lighter colors and we have everything here and they all go together so well. Anyway, we have some diggers and words and lots of epamera also from Pink Paisley. Uh, we have also um, exclusive epamera. I think this was in Project Life Kit, but I'm not sure. I need to check that out from Hip Kit Club website. Then we have more thickers and more stickers. These shiny gold stickers, uh, sorry, stickers, and some enamel dots, some sequins and confetti from Pink Paisley. We have this gorgeous glitter tape from American Crafts, as well as exclusive flare patterns and other stuff, especially uh, thinking of planners but I will be using them on my layouts. Definitely going to use those. Anyway, some acrylic stars and some wooden arrows, and I'm loving them all. So, this first layout starts with the triangle paper. I mean, dot paper, but in triangle shape. Uh, I decided to use this large, large a triangle on the lower right corner of my white background but during the creation process as usual my thoughts went back to somewhere else and then I <laughs> found this paper from the other corner but that doesn't matter I really love the result so I decided to pick up some epamera from Pink Paisley and some epamera from Hip Hit Club but in the end of this layout I didn't even use them but it doesn't matter the most important thing is that I really love doing it, love creating it and even more I love the result so I picked up the teal green and silver dot a paper for to be the first paper and then this really light dot paper on top of that and to continue the silver um, silver metal thing going on I decided to use the stencil from the color kit together with uh, golden texture paste from Haiti Swap at this point I'm planning how to do the paper layers and then, when I was almost ready with the paper layer planning, uh, I added some, some parts to the background of this texture paste. Not to all, but few, few there and few here. Just to make sure I have some kind of texture going on and I was um, thinking of using the gold stickers we had in the I think it was from the embellishment kit, but anyway, uh, so I wanted to use something else called too. And then of course the string layer, and then the paper layers. This goes with all of my layers, but it doesn't matter <laughs> because it's kind of my style. So uh, I'm continuing the triangle shape on the paper layers too, just to make sure 
it all goes smoothly together. So the photograph on this layout is also printed uh, by thinking of this layout. Uh, it's not black and white, it's more light than black and white. But it's not sepia too. I don't know if sepia is the right word, but anyway. And to keep more <laughs> sheen for the layout, as, as I wouldn't have already. But anyway, um, I wanted to use this American Crafts glitter tape. I'm not a big fan of washi tapes or any tapes. I'm not sure how to use them all the time. But for this tape, as this is really sticky, it goes... Um, it's really sticky. It goes to any of your layers, even here on top of my texture paste or, of course, on paper. Um, I decided to make these little flags um, to make sure there's a little details here and there that there is something <laughs> shiny. And I really love this teal green color. Or is it turquoise? I'm not sure. And then my shiny line continues by adding this lovely lovely super lovely words hello and sweet um, and then a little hard and i really love it it's so it's kind of a mirror looking when you look at close of, of, of these stickers and i really really love them uh, we had some confetti uh, and sequins from Pink Paisley. This is from collection Birthday Bash, if I remember right. Uh, I decided to use the gold stars because it matches well to the all other gold elements. Um, first I glued the stars and then some sequins on top of the stars. I kind of love to layer embellishments too because they make lots of dimension and lots of details to the layout. Uh, the finally, final phases of creating this was that I covered the picture with baby wipe and then drop some uh, mint mist from the color kit. I wanted to uh, add more mint because I really love mint and it goes well for this layout. And the last last one was to I, I wasn't pleased how this triangle dot paper was coming out from the layout so I wanted to kind of highlight it and then I took a mint green pen and did some stitching drawing <laughs> to the edges of the paper you can see it here uh, on the detail shots. It's not a big difference, but it is there and it kind of uh, pops up the whole triangle shape So that was it. I hope you liked it and next week we'll have something different than metal and teal green so Until then, thank you for watching and bye